I'm Robin and in this video I will show you a quick power app tip. We will make a bouncing arrow that will point to this uh, next arrow for the next step. Let's say we have a form right here that is a little bigger than this example that your user just filled out and you want to guide him in the right direction and make this bouncing arrow visible when he puts something in this field or all the fields. At first we will need an arrow. We will put it over here, right next to that, and then we need a timer. We will set a repeat to on and auto start to on, and we lower the duration to around a second. So that's a thousand milliseconds. We want to connect the Y property to the timer. So we put the starting point of our error around here and then we add something to it so the arrow will go down and we will add around 100 times the timer 3 dot value divided by the duration of the timer. So let's see what it looks like. So the arrow goes uh, 100 pixels down in this one second. And this really doesn't look nice or natural. We can switch it around so the arrow goes up, but that also wouldn't look too natural. So we need a nice bounce in that arrow. And I figured out a pretty easy way to do this. We will use a sign function for the arrow. So we will use 100 times and because it's a sign function we need to multiply with 2 times pi. You will get that part of the function if you paid attention in math class. Now this goes from uh, 1 to minus 1 so we will put that to 50 and need to add 50 here. Let's look at it again and now we got a nice bouncing arrow that goes fast in the middle part and goes slower at the turnaround points. I think it looks a lot nicer and more natural than before. And now here comes the second part. We want just we want to make it visible only when the text input is not blank. And this is the finished product. And as a little extra to show off, we will make a circle going circles. So we put in a new circle, put it right here in the middle, make it a little bit smaller. We will steal the Y property from here. this and go to the X property and just switch from sine to cosine. That's it for this video. Like, comment and subscribe for more Power Apps content.